My name is Ephraim, aka known as Ghetto Orange, that's my musical name. I'm studying popular music and in the year 2023. Before coming to uni, I was producing and rapping and writing songs and playing drums. I came to uni, I wanted to get better at all those things. So every single day I made a track, which is crazy. I did that for the whole of first year. So in total, I think I have like 200 and something songs just like stored in my hard drive because I was doing that every day. But by second year, you know, I was able to start doing shows. And then by third year, I'm doing a really big show for like 600 people. If you don't make something happen, it won't happen. People hear that after university, we'll go on to do amazing things and you want to be a part of that. And if you're part of the beginning, you're more likely to be a part of the end as well. Having a new, fresh way of like doing things is really good. So expanding and working with those people is very useful. For myself, I've produced a bunch of music videos we've done, art pieces we've done, photography we've done, you know, little booklets. I've been in a couple of newspapers as well, but that's all been off of students from different areas. So making a really good project does not come from just staying within your bubble. So expanding out and using the different departments that Farmer has is really good and you can create amazing, amazing work. So yeah. What inspires my work is just trying to do things that other people haven't done in, but through my eyes. Because I like my shows to be, you know, high and impactful and, you know, uh, everyone like really engaging with the crowd. I'll jump in the crowd sometimes and, <laughs> you know, jump around as well. But um, yeah, uh, what inspires my work is just trying to give people something that they've never experienced before or seen before, so. Orange Fest was an idea that I've had for a while, but properly implemented it uh, in my, like halfway through my second year. I finally started doing shows right after Corona was lifted. A massive show, it was amazing, it sold out, people were going crazy and we were like, yo, we gotta do this again. But obviously, you know, as artists, you kind of like wait to get booked by people to actually do shows. And I was like, no, I'm not. I don't want to wait for that. I want to put on my own show. So I started up Orange Fest as a way to put on more musical events, more centered around hip hop and R&B because a lot of people love that. A lot of people want that. You just don't get it down in Cornwall and especially the students, you know, they're from all over places in UK and abroad as well. And they, that music is, is, you know, it's very prominent there. I started a scene and it's been growing. I mean, we've, you know, been booked to do a load of shows I opened up for um, Coops. I'm doing Far Side, um, hopefully Boardmasters. So um, yeah, you know, that's what happens when you do the things that you want to do. <laughs> Ideally, I would want to be a musician doing shows, selling merch, et cetera, et cetera. You know, the standard artist life out of doing shows came about marketing. So in terms of trying to get people into these shows, you got to really market, it's learning how it all works. In terms of what creativity means to me in everything, it's just thinking outside the box and not restricting yourself because you might not know something or, you know, you might be scared to do something. Being able to just do it is way better and will improve your creativity. Yeah. Yeah. Go.